There was a crime committed by the Heisman voters. These are the finalists for the Heisman Trophy for this season. C.J. Stroud, Caleb Williams, Max Duggan, and Stetson Bennett. Somebody's missing. His name is Hendon Hooker. I don't know who we got to call, but we need to call somebody. We need to get law enforcement involved for this crime that has been committed against Hendon Hooker. What did Hendon Hooker deserve? What did Hendon Hooker do to deserve this? Honestly, Hendon Hooker was one of the best quarterbacks in America this year. He's thrown for 3,135 passing yards, 27 touchdowns to two interceptions, which is, by the way, one of the best touchdown to interception ratios in college football. Not to mention, he has the second highest quarterback rating in America. And yet, he isn't selected as a Heisman finalist. But yet, Stetson Bennett is. Stetson Bennett, people, 3,425 passing yards, 20 touchdowns to six interceptions. He has seven rushing touchdowns, which is two more than Hendon Hooker's. And he has 184 rushing yards. This is not a knock on Stetson Bennett. You guys know that I love me some Sir Stetson. But let's be real. Even you Georgia fans. I'm talking to the unbiased ones. Somebody walks up to you right now and asks, Hey, you have the choice of a healthy Hendon Hooker or Stetson Bennett for the college football playoffs against Ohio State. Who do you pick? I'm pretty sure most of us are picking Hendon Hooker. If you want to say, well, JT Stetson Bennett outplayed Hendon Hooker, okay, that's understandable. But the Heisman Trophy isn't an award that's based off one game. It's an award that is based off the player who has had the best season and the most outstanding performances all season long. All season long, we've been talking about Hendon Hooker. Even after his injury, we were still talking and still are going to be talking about Hendon Hooker. I understand that the Heisman Trophy, most of the time, has to have somebody who has somewhat of an outstanding story. Stetson Bennett has a great story. Walk on, had the transfer, comes back, starts. Walk on who leads his team to a national championship. Uh, great story. But Hendon Hooker has a good story too. Has a transfer from Virginia Tech. Wasn't named the starting quarterback week one of last season. Gets his opportunity and makes the most of it. It's going, and Hendon Hooker is eventually going to be playing on Sundays. And I believe that we will eventually see Stetson Bennett in the NFL. Maybe not as a starter, but somewhat as a backup. I do believe that Stetson Bennett is going to be in the NFL, at least as a backup. But when we're talking about the Heisman discussion for this year, Hendon Hooker should have been going to NYC for the Heisman ceremony. And if you're a Georgia fan and you're watching or listening to this right now, you know it too. Put your fandom aside. You know Hendon Hooker is a better quarterback than Stetson Bennett. And then I see these stats floating around on Twitter about how Stetson Bennett has been better against ranked opponents this year. Now, I went on ESPN.com. And I went to the game stats, well, the stat splits. And the stats that I saw from this, this tweet on Twitter did not align with the stats that I saw on ESPN.com. So somebody's lying. Somebody's not telling the truth here about Stetson Bennett's performances against top 25 teams. I'm probably going to side with ESPN that they're telling the truth. Stetson Bennett... Versus top 25 opponents, 899 passing yards, 8 touchdowns. Really good. But you know what Hendon Hooker has done against top 25 teams this year? 
14 touchdowns, 2 interceptions, 1,738 passing yards. You tell me who has performed better against top 25 competition this year. There's no reason why Stetson Bennett should be a Heisman finalist over Hendon Hooker. This is really embarrassing because the Heisman Trophy, right, is supposed to be the most prestigious award in the sport of college football. So therefore, you would want this award to be represented by the best of the best. Stetson Bennett is really good. However, you don't take really good when it comes to a war like this. You don't take okay when it comes to a war like this. You award phenomenal. You award great. Because these guys' names are going to be memorialized in the history of college football forever. Even if they don't win it, we still are going to be able to go back and see who the finalists were who received votes. This is a prestigious award, so we should be celebrating the best seasons and the best performances. There's no way you can freaking tell me that Stetson Bennett had a better performance of a season than Hendon Hooker. This is unbelievable. The people who are in charge of this thing should be ashamed of themselves. Ashamed of themselves. And this isn't a knock on Stetson Bennett. Once again, I'm going to say that I love me some Sir Stetson. We call Stetson Bennett Sir Stetson around here because he earned that. And Stetson Bennett is a really good quarterback. Probably the third best quarterback in the SEC from this season. I'm not disrespecting Stetson Bennett. All I'm saying is that Stetson Bennett did not have a better season than Hendon Hooker. Hendon Hooker should be here. And it's really disappointing that the people who's running these game, who's running this thing is not putting in the players who deserve to be here. They did the same thing with Will freaking Anderson. And the dude had one of the most memorable seasons that we've seen from a defensive player since Manti Teo. His final season at Notre Dame. The Heisman Trophy is starting to become a joke. This is supposed to be the most prestigious award in college football. And yet we, we just want to, we just want to name anybody a finalist. I know Stetson Ben is a great player and a very great person. And I love Sir Stetson. Once again, going to say it for the final time. But Hendon Hooker should be here. And if you didn't want to put Hendon Hooker here, you could have at least put Bryce Young here. Bryce Young. Outstanding performance this year. The Eisman Trophy is supposed to be awarded to the most outstanding player in college football. It's pretty much the MVP award of this sport. The most viable player. You take Hendon Hooker off Tennessee... What do you think they do? If you take Bryce Young off Alabama, how good are they? As a, actually, as a matter of fact, we've seen Alabama without Bryce Young. Okay? So, even then, what about Bo Nix? What about Michael Penix? What about some of these running backs? Blake Corum? Chase Brown of Illinois? Stetson Bennett is a good player. A great player, I would put at that. But there are players who had better seasons than Stetson Bennett. This is the most prestigious award in college football. If you even name off the statistics of the other guys who are with Stetson Bennett in this thing, it's not even close. Stetson Bennett, 3,425 passing yards, 20 touchdowns, 6 interceptions with an 86.3 quarterback rating. Seven rushing touchdowns and 184 rushing yards. C.J. Stroud this season. 37 touchdowns, six interceptions, thrown for 3,340 passing yards. 
87.7 quarterback rating. Max Duggan, 3,321 passing yards, 30 touchdowns, 4 picks. His quarterback rating is lower than Stetson Bennett, but he has more rushing yards and more rushing touchdowns. Caleb Williams don't even need to say more. It's like, if you put Hendon Hooker here, you definitely say, oh yeah, this dude belongs here. But Stetson Bennett, come on, bruh. Let's be for real. Let's be honest. Somebody come up to you today and you have to pick a team. And your last pick is either Hendon Hooker or Stetson Bennett. You're taking Hendon Hooker. Love Stetson Bennett. Love him. He has a lot of swag. But he did not deserve to be on this list over Hendon Hooker. And it's really disappointing that the people that's in charge did this. Because this is really disrespectful. To, to This is the most prestigious trophy in the history of this sport. So we should be having the best of the best representing this trophy. We should be having the best of the best going to NYC. The Heisman voters failed this season. And you can make all the arguments that you want for Stetson Bennett winning Heisman. All you want to. But Hendon Hooker should be here.